good, man. I like how comics get up here and ask that question like we actually give a fuck. <laughs> like if one of y'all actually, like if you stood up and was like, hey, actually I'm having a bad day, I'd be like, no, 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 sit the fuck down. <laughs> Got a limited amount of time, man. That looks like a I'm turning 24 in a week, y'all. I'm turning 24. <laughs> I would be filled with this much poverty, y'all. They don't tell you you'll be broke the whole time. They don't tell you. It's crazy, man. They did a good job of making, I feel like they did a good job of making your 20s look glamorous. Like every show on Netflix is just a group of 20 year olds chasing their dreams, getting coffee every morning and shit. I bought a chai tea latte one time. My bank called me like, hey. <laughs> I want to pitch a more realistic show to Netflix. I want to call that shit, um, not opening your mail doesn't make your bills go. <laughs> I don't even, look, I don't even think I should be allowed to live alone. Like, everybody under the age of 25 shouldn't be allowed to live alone. Like, I, I just got my own crib and it's cool. I don't have a roommate, but also, uh, 80% of my silverware is from Chipotle. <laughs> medicine I need to take. Right? <laughs> I need adult supervision is what I'm saying. <laughs> I hate telling my problems to older, like the older generation, because they always say the same shit. They're like, no, Tony, man, you're young. Just go out and find yourself. Go find yourself. <laughs> so I went and did shrooms, because I thought <laughs> two hours wondering why all my white friends look like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> and then I spent another hour screaming, I'm the Black Andy to all my neighbors. <laughs> Safe to say it shouldn't be a workout. <laughs> I don't know man, I'm young, I'm young, but I'm already feeling myself starting to do old man shit. Like I'm starting to get very vague answers to simple ass questions. Like, if, if you ask me, yo, Antonio, how's it going? I'll be like, shh, hey, it's going. <laughs> Nobody knows what the fuck that means. <laughs> oh, no, it's weird. Even though I'm young, the older generation still thinks they can tell me how to live my life. Like, my mom, she always comes up to me, she's like, the reason you kids are so depressed these days is because your head's always in those phones. When we were kids, we had to go outside and talk to each other. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably why the murder rate was so high, baby. <laughs> you had to walk around talking about stupid shit all day. If I didn't have a phone right now, I'd have at least three murder charges on there. <laughs> and all of them would be the white bitches at my job that talk about BuzzFeed articles all day. <laughs> One thing, I feel like their relationships were a lot better. Like nobody left each other back in the day. Like you were either dead or you were in a relationship. No one <laughs> like I got a great grandma, she's 110 years old. Oh, she told me she's only had sex with two people in her whole life. I'm like, damn, bitch, we gotta get you back in the game. <laughs> so I helped her out, I made her a little Tinder, y'all. <laughs> got a profile picture, she's got on a little church hat. <laughs> My grandma on Tinder looking like the first black woman ever. <laughs> Every time I go over there, she swipe the left on everybody. Like, I feel like, Grandma, because these days, I'll break up with you for anything. Like, my girl came in the room with hiccups one time. I'm like, you childish bitch. <laughs> I'm working with kids now, I'm working with kids. 
these kids have mental health issues, and I, I really want them to reach their full potential. I really do. But every day that I work with these kids, I started hearing more and more with the old Bernie Mac quote. Fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 14 year old arch nemesis, y'all. Because he is bigger than me. And, and when he, like, yeah, he's in this institution, but when he throws punches, they definitely don't look disabled. You know? <laughs> I'm not tough enough to discipline the kids either. And they remind me every day, like, like every day, and I'm not going to name one of the kids, but every day, Dion comes up to me. He's like, hey, Tony, hey, man, hey, you smile, you got little ass teeth. Yeah, you got a dolphin mouth, man. Ha, 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 ha. 